And I invite you now to join me in our opening prayer. There is a life-giving force that embodies the cosmos. It is that thing itself that dotted the sky with stars and illuminated them, that did the same for the sun that brings us life. It is that thing itself that brought into creation all creatures, big and small. It is that thing that beats our heart while we sleep at night and breathes us without even thinking about it. It just does it. And so as we recognize this connection with the wholeness, with the grandness, with the one great power and creator. It's easy for me to declare these words that today is ordained. It's a day that was made for you and I. It was a day for us to celebrate the joy, the freedom, the gifts that God continues to bestow upon us each in every moment. It is the breath mm, and it is the love that surrounds us. We are all in this one great idea of an expansive universal presence and intelligence. And so today I know that the service is already a perfect idea in the mind of that one creator. I know that Reverend Karen is on high with her message and that it reaches each one of us in a profound way that we can carry those words, carry those ideas into our lives for a fuller expansion of who we are. And so I give thanks. I give thanks for this opportunity to speak into the law that is always demonstrating in exact proportion to my faith. And as I release this word, I invite you all to join me in anchoring it by saying, and so it is. Mm. And won't you read the, uh, 